the European nations of size that did not have any portion of Africa began to grumble at the Berlin Conference, 1884 and 1885, the European powers of substance who did not have any part of Africa now were given some parts. Africans did not fall at the feet of the European invaders. They fought fiercely, bravely, and continually. Anti-colonial wars started up down the coast of West Africa and parts of inner Africa and in the Congo. There was armed resistance. The Zulu wars lasted from the 1650s when the Boers arrived to the last Zulu war was 1906. In Ghana, the Ashanti wars lasted from early in the 18th century to the last Ashanti war led by a woman, Ye Asantiwa, in 1900. For a while, it looked as though the Europeans would not be able to hold on to the continent. More manpower and more ruthless treatment brought it mainly under their control. By 1884, 1885, and afterward, there's no, there was no dispute about who was in charge of Africa, just who was in charge of what part of it. We have been hung up with a myth, the myth of the conqueror and the invader as the bringer of civilization. No people ever brought civilization to another people at no time and at no place in history. It's one of the most protracted lies we ever listened to. Civilization is the art of being civil. The word civil means being peaceful and there's nothing peaceful about aggression only the slave can abolish slavery if someone is on your back you have to bend a little to balance them on your back now the best move if you want to get them off of your back is to stand straight up. <laughs>